One goal, how do we get people off the street and into housing? Homelessness is not an issue in California, it is the issue. Uh, and of course, we are all here today to discuss the policies, the practices, and most importantly, the actions that we can take to reduce the number of homeless men, women, and children. We had been taking the same old approach as every other city, an approach where everyone agrees we need to help homeless individuals. But when it comes to actually doing something, there was always an excuse standing in the way. We reduced encampments in the San Diego River by 90%. We removed more than 4,000 tons of trash from sidewalks, parks, and public spaces. And we launched the largest expansion of homeless services in our city's history. We changed virtually everything. And by doing that, we've changed lives as a result. San Diego is the only major county in California where homelessness went down last year instead of up. We still have an incredible amount of work to do. These are the clear consequences of a larger government failure. Unsanitary encampments in cities big and small, overwhelmed emergency rooms, laws that embolden drug abuse. California, as I say often, has lost its way on homelessness. And it's up to us, all of us, these are people we are talking about. And I believe that we have to be honest with ourselves about why so many people are living on the street. We have to speak the truth about what causes homelessness, no matter how uncomfortable it is. And we must have the courage to enact the solutions to fix it. We all need to do more on homelessness. And part of that means cities and counties must break down the bureaucratic silence and work together as a team. Because for our cities to turn the corner on homelessness, we also need to fix state laws. It's time to get real about these problems. That's why we're here today. It's not acceptable to condone living outdoors in urban areas. It's not humane to let people with severe mental illness wander our streets. And it's not responsible to turn a blind eye to drug abuse. It's time to clean up the unsafe homeless encampments that have far too long symbolized our state's failure to act. And to anyone who says it's not compassionate to move a person off the street, my friends, I say it's not compassionate to let a person die on it. Californians are tired of settling for incremental change. We need and we deserve bold action that produces tangible results and compels the government to act. We want to get behind ideas that don't just sound good or feel good, but they actually work.